It's been about a month since three Chattanooga children lost their parents in a house fire. Good evening, I'm Latricia Thomas. And I'm Josh Rose. Since then, the Lockhart children have lived with their grandparents. Today, they got a surprise from the Chattanooga Police Department. News Channel Line's Drew Balea has the story. Merry Christmas! With lights flashing and sirens sounding, several Chattanooga police tactical trucks pulled in front of Gary Patterson's house. Oh, I was, I was tickled to death. Uh, I knew the children would be. Patterson is the grandfather of the three Lockhart children who lost their parents in a fire last month just feet away in a neighboring home. The support in the community as well has been fabulous. Patterson has tried to keep the kids occupied and in their normal routine despite the loss of their parents, Randall and Candy. The people has, has been outstanding. Smiles and kindness have replaced tears and heartbreak on this little North Shore street. We've had a uh, donations from Georgia. The Chattanooga Fire Department replaced a bathroom in the home, and today the police department brought fun to a neighborhood in need. <laughs> the three kids and their friends talked on the SWAT truck speakers and played with the lights. Patterson says he's seen more community support in the last month than he had in the previous 67 years. For all the support and all the help that I've been receiving, they're going to have a tremendous Christmas. Drew Balea, News Channel 9. Patterson also said a big thank you to Red Bank Elementary School where the children go. So far, over $1,500 in cash and gift cards have been collected for the family.